How to add drop shadow on text in Photopia. Hey everyone, welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'll show you step by step how to add that drop shadow uh, look to your text on Photopia. So it's going to be very basic and simple to do. So let's just go ahead and not skip uh, or not waste any more time and go for it. So first, I'm just going to click on open from computer. I'm just going to add this as a background. And basically, first, you would want to add your text. So you can just go and click on text here. And then we can just go ahead and highlight place and add some text. So I'm just going to go ahead and add some text. Let's just go ahead and increase the size for it a little bit. Like so, and also centralize it. So now that we have some text, let's also make it uh, white so that the shadow is going to be more visible for us. Okay, that did not change. Hold on a sec. Okay, great. So now that we have some text, now we just want to add the shadow to it. So it's also very simple and easy to do. You can go to the layers section on the uh, right panel here, where you'll find the layers and stuff. We basically want to click on the text here. We can just go ahead and click, uh, right click on it, sorry. And then from here, we just want to click on blending options. So just going to click on blending options and then here we are basically are going to have a lot of options on how we want it to look like including the drop shadow option which should be at the second to last option here so you just go and click on drop shadow and it's going to actually add it for us uh, immediately so as you can see if we just click on ok we should have our uh, drop shadow on our text let me just click on ok so now we can also adjust it uh, even further if you want to. Again, you can just go in and click on uh, your text, right click, blending options. And then from here, you, should, you can just go and click on drop shadow. So instead of the tick at the left panel, you just want to click on it. And then from here, we basically want to change it for first. Let's not highlight it so we don't uh, you know, uh, we can actually see it uh, clearer. So blending options drop shadow let's move this to the side and now we have a lot of things to choose from so for example the opacity of the shadow we can uh, change that the angle of the shadow we can also change uh the distance so how far away it is uh, it is from the text and we also have the spread and also the size so let's just go and increase the distance so we can see it further uh, better so we have the size of the shadow basically blurriness and we also have the noise which should also be almost the same thing so just go ahead and change uh, it to your liking and we pretty much just added that to our um, text. So this is all for this video. Hopefully you found it to be helpful and thanks for watching.